from the moment we are birthed into this world, we begin to search for fulfillment and happiness. This journey begins and ends in your mind. The mind is a superb instrument if used correctly. Used incorrectly, however, it can become very destructive. Identifying with your mind begins with learning to read yourself and every thought you are currently having. Listen to the voice that comments, speculates, judges, compares, complains, likes, and dislikes. This voice belongs to your conditioned mind, which is a result of all your past history and the collective cultural mindset you have inherited. It is not uncommon for this voice to be a person's own worst enemy. Thought is responsible for most, if not all, of the suffering we experience. When you begin to identify with your thoughts, you may notice that you are watching your own thoughts from a brand new perspective. You may wonder, who is it that is aware that I am thinking? You can take the first step towards healing yourself right now. Start listening to the voice in your head as often as you can. Pay particular attention to any repetitive thought patterns. This is how you begin to watch yourself think. Be there as a witnessing presence and listen to it impartially. Do not judge or condemn what you hear, for doing so would mean that the same voice has come in again through the back door. When you listen to a thought, you are aware not only of the thought, but also of yourself as a witness to the thought. A new dimension of consciousness has come in. As you listen, you feel a conscious presence, your deeper self. This is the essence of your spirit. Identification with this part of yourself is the first step towards evolving spiritually. Everybody around you is a teacher. If you are in a bad relationship right now, you are a student of how to have a better relationship in the future. If you are in a bad relationship with your boss, you are a student of how you can one day become a better boss. Every moment of your life contains a concealed wealth. Typically the worst moments will contain the richest knowledge. Flipping these situations into a valuable learning experience roots from finding knowledge and love in every waking situation that crosses your path. In doing so, every moment becomes as valuable as the next. As you become a witness of your thought process, remember, we can complain because the rose bushes have thorns, or we can rejoice because the thorn bushes have roses. It is indeed about the perspective you choose to identify with. Choosing to identify with what you can learn from a situation rather than resisting the situation can manifest a wealthier and more abundant approach to your life. Our thoughts can be the root of our greatest suffering or the source of our greatest lessons. Which one will you choose?